Well, here we are. Sunak has gone and done it, called a general election which employs the only tactic he has left available to him, the element of surprise. Ooh, slightly miffed that he and the men in grey suits have decided to make this play. But let us quickly try to unpack his logic. The Tory High Command will believe this decision wrongfoots both the Labour Party and Mr Tice's reform company. Poor old Keir was not expecting it this soon, as is clear from his offering of, oh, precisely nothing, and Tice does not have the candidate's money or activism to make the dent he truly craves. It's clear that with an ever-growing Muslim vote lending its support to extremists such as George Galloway and the Green Party, Labour could lose out on a section of the electorate that they have historically benefited from, all because today's political class are unable to curb immigration and quell growing support for the terrorist organisation Hamas, spreading through sections of Britain by woke, infected, lefty students and people who simply don't believe in the country which protects them. Sunak's hope is this erodes Labour's groundswell of support. This is not about trying to win for the Tory party. This is about consolidation, damage limitation. The fight for the heart and soul of what remains of the Tories comes after his impending defeat, in whatever form that may look like. UKIP's strategy is clear and targeted. We will be standing in key areas where we believe we can make a stand or affect the election result. Working in partnership with the English Democrats, we will ensure that our policies and values are on offer to as much of the UK as possible. A full list of seats we will contest, along with the candidates, will be published by us in the coming weeks. This election is not about the best party for the job. Unfortunately, it'll be about who the public deem to be the least bad. But I ask you that you vote with your feet. This election may be seen by some as lost, but instead, let us make it the beginning of the change that the country so desperately needs.